Matt Schlapp was on Newsmax, epitome of journalism, and was asked about Rupert Murdoch's retirement from Fox. Let's take a look. It, this is really amazing news. I mean, Fox News has played a critical role in championing conservative causes for a very long time. And people like my wife, Mercy, and me were on Fox. I was on Fox practically every day for years and years and years. And then something happened in the country. The BLM riots happened, the virus happened, and then this crazy presidential election with all this voter fraud happened. And Fox seemed to, be, to want to be at war with its viewers. And people who have opinions and voices like me became, uh, became a less uh, ha hospitable place. And thank God at the same time, Newsmax was really taking off. So I think a lot of that viewership has transitioned over. So the real question for Lachlan Murdoch, who I don't know is, you know, is he going to recapture the spirit of the early years of Fox? Or are they gonna continue down the woke road? That is Matt Schlapp with a straight face saying that the reason he hasn't been on Fox News lately is because they're too woke. And then he says that something happened in this country and he lists a few things. Um, he talks about BLM protests, COVID. I think it might have more to do with the $787 billion settlement from Fox to Dominion, <laughs> more so than them being woke. Um, but also, I don't think that any of those things are the reason why Matt Schlapp specifically has not been on Fox News' airwaves. Because according to Justin Bargona from the Daily Beast, following the allegations, Schlapp has essentially been barred from Fox News airwaves. Neither he nor his wife Mercedes, a former Fox News contributor and Trump administration official, have appeared on the network since January. Besides shutting out the slaps, Fox News all but ignored this year's CPAC, despite the symbiotic relationship the confab enjoyed with the right wing network in years past. And just to prove that point, here's Fox News informing its viewers of the allegations against Schlapp. There's a couple of things going on it's it, with CPAC. It's not all uh, the Trump DeSantis divide. There's also a lot of controversy about Matt Schlapp, the head of the American Conservative Union, which puts on uh, CPAC. There have been there's uh, uh, allegations. There's allegations against him of sex harassment, and so perhaps some uh, figures are avoiding that whole situation. And let's give a little bit more detail on what that whole situation is from NBC News. From Manuel's Tavern to the Hilton Garden Inn there at the Atlanta airport, he literally had his hands on me, the staffer said in a video he recorded early in the morning of October 20th, just a couple hours after the alleged incident. Matt Schlapp of the, of the CPAC grabbed my junk and pummeled it at length. To my shame, I did not say no or stop, the staffer said in the video. A recollection he repeated in the interview with NBC News. God knows it was not a wanted advance. And of course, to the staffer, it is not your fault. And we know now that Schlapp has a history of doing this and it's been impacting the organizations he leads. Here's this headline from WAPO. CPAC urged to probe more sexual misconduct claims against chair Matt Schlapp. And just to give a little context of some of those other incidents, because it is, as I said, not just the one staffer. In one incident, a staffer said Schlapp attempted to kiss him while drinking late after a work function in 2017. The staffer also provided documentation from that night to the Washington Post showing physical contact that the staffer said was unsolicited. In another incident, Schlapp allegedly made unwanted physical advances on someone else's employee during a CPAC business trip in Palm Beach, Florida in early 2022, according to multiple people informed of the incident. But that being said, uh, Brett, I think it's more likely that Fox News is woke than that they want to distance themselves from this <laughs> sexual yeah. harasser. Fox News is a business. And when he, it's so funny, he's like, do we go, we should go back to the early days of Fox News. You know, when <laughs> all those people who would eventually either be fired or fine or have to make huge settlements costing tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars for that sexual harassment. Let's do the era, era before people suffer consequences. Consequences for that. It is so overt and on the nose the way he's even framing it. He might say woke along the way, but what he's asking for is a pardon and a free pass. And of course he would. CPAC takes place in one of two cities every year, no matter what it says on the bill Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> 
you guys have heard the stories at TYT over the years about how they fly in sex workers and and of all kinds to whenever CPAC is happening because that's what folks are in town for. It's a huge party. So during the day they go into the arena and they give speeches like it's all about the family unit and family values and good Christian wholesome behaviors and ethics and all of that. And then they check out. They go try to grope a staffer and then they go get a massage with a happy ending. Like that's how it how it works. And that's how they like it. That's how they want it. And that and Matt Schlapp is as just as Fox News is like, we can't keep paying these fines. I think there's a road of how we're messaging every day that will be the most lucrative for us. That's what Schlappy's doing. Schlappy's like, well, I can't go on Fox News anymore. So my recourse is to brand Newsmax as the new Fox News, which I'm on, and then try to ask and shame Fox News into letting me on there so I can have a higher profile again. So I can make the the third prong, which is it there's so much money in running events like this, CPAC. There is so much cash in it, with whether it's CPAC or an awards show or anything else like that. They they make so much cash by being in charge of it for all kinds of reasons, both above and below the table, and and below the table, under the table, especially groping and 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 money handing is is really Match Lab's specialty. Apparently, also his specialty is defending other people who have been accused of sexual misconduct, like Russell Brand. <laughs> And Donald Trump, of course, of course he did. He can't keep his mouth shut, <laughs> despite the fact that this obviously also implicates match. <laughs> but-